Hi, this is Dr. Shripal Reddy, Medical Administrator at Shri Balaji Medical Sangareddy Unit. Today we have Dr. Syed Akbar, Consultant and Emergency Head. So we have a small talk show on one of the medical emergency that is snake bite. Sir, can you elaborate some things about snake bite? Yes. Snake bites are most common uh, medical emergencies in the rural areas. As per the statistics, there are 49,000 deaths happening across India because of the snake bites. But the main reason is unavailability of the resources, unavailability of the infrastructure, and unavailability of the anti snake venoms in the rural areas. Sir, can you tell some of the symptoms of snake bite? Symptoms there are some local symptoms and systemic symptoms. Local symptoms like there are some, there will be a flank marks at the bite area. There will be a bloody discharge from the bite area. And there will be a swelling, uh, edematous swelling at the bite area. Uh, and the systemic symptoms will be like, uh, generally the patient will be having a giddiness and fall. And uh, sometimes the patient will have abdominal pain, vomitings, nausea. And sometimes the patient will go in a shock. Okay, sir. Can you name some poisonous snakes which we see around our area? Yes. So uh, there are more than 300 species of snakes existing in India. Out of which the four species are most dangerous and poisonous. Those are cobra, crate, Russell's viper, and saw-scale viper. So these these snakes will cause uh, various kind of symptoms and signs like. Uh, some snakes will cause a hematotoxic, some snakes will cause uh, neurotoxicity, some snakes will cause cytotoxicity, some snakes will cause uh, mixed toxicity. So what is the antidote for snake bites? So definitive treatment is giving a patient, giving the victim with the anti-snake venom, it's a polyvalent anti-snake venom because we don't know what exactly the bite snake bite causes. So we should give a polyvalent uh, anti-snake venom is the best antidote of choice as of till date. Okay sir. My last question is uh, whether there is any difference in the dosage for uh, pediatric and uh, obstetric patients? No, this uh, actually it's a very good question. There is no do uh, difference in the dosage for any adult pediatric, uh, geriatric or any obstetric patients. The dosage of anti venom is same for all the patients irrespective of their age groups. Can you tell some myths of snake bites sir? Previously, there are some myths like once the patient victim had a snake bite. Uh, previously, uh, patient persons people used to tie a ligature marks, uh, some tourniquets. They used to suck the blood from the bite bite areas. They used to cut the bite marks. These are all the previously, and sometimes uh, some people used to give some uh, alcohol or some kind of drug. Some people, some uh, people used to put some herbal medicines over the bites. So these, are, this should be avoided uh, before uh, getting the patient to the hospital. This should not be performed, and we have to always make sure we should reassure the patient because reassurance is very very important. Once the patient had a victim had a snake bite or snake but he will be landing in some uh, panic state and his cardiac activity will be increased and innovation will occur rapidly so reassurance is very very important and we should not make sure we should make sure that uh, he sh the victim should not walk for a short distance especially if he has a if he had a bite at the limbs so we should we, we should not we should feel him make sure that he doesn't walk for a short distance also and we should not give anything to drink Okay. And no tourniquets or ligatures should be uh, tied to that particular bite area. And always make sure uh, his limbs should be below the level of heart. And he should be carried to the nearest hospital as soon as possible to give the anti snake venom. Sir, thank you so much for giving your valuable time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.